everyone as you all know cbc science board exam is right around the corner and i am sure that you are feeling the pressure so in chemistry chemical reactions are quite exhausting right so how about we make it easier as you all know the first chapter is chemical reactions and equations it's a easy chapter but also students feel difficult because it contains plenty of chemical reactions and chemical equations i know that chemical equations are difficult for you so let's make it easier by learning all the chemical reactions in this chapter through this small video so here you can see a table and this table contains the chemical reactions in the first chapter and also by observing this table you can understand whether the chemical reaction belongs to combination reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction or double displacement reaction and also you could identify whether the reaction is oxidation or reduction whether it is exothermic or endothermic and some important additional information about these chemical reactions so moving on to the first chemical equation that is magnesium burns in the presence of oxygen to form magnesium oxide and magnesium burns with a dazzling white flame note down that okay and the next equation is carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide carbon monoxide combines with hydrogen to form methanol okay and by observing these three chemical reactions we can categorize this into these reactions are examples of combination reactions reactants combined to form one product so the reaction is combination reaction okay so next one is zinc reacts with h2so4 that is a metal reacts with acid to form a salt and it also produces hydrogen gas metal reacts with acids to produce hydrogen gas next reaction is iron iron reacts with steam okay no doubt that iron will not reacts with cold water or hot water it only reacts with steam to form iron oxide okay so what type of reaction is this you can see that displacement takes place hydrogen is displaced so this is an example of displacement reaction it is an example of displacement reaction okay next reaction is next reaction is you can see that carbon dioxide with h2o that is the reaction of photosynthesis and next reaction calcium hydroxide combines with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate and the calcium carbonate is used for white washing okay white washing the walls calcium carbonate is used and which type of reaction is this okay you can observe that and this reaction is an endothermic reaction next one is calcium oxide reacts with water calcium oxide combines with water to form calcium hydroxide and also hydrogen burns in the presence of oxygen to form water okay by observing these two reactions we can see that one product is formed so this is an example of combination reaction this is an example of combination reaction and it is also important to note that uh, we can see in every question paper a question related to the reaction of calcium oxide with water which is an exothermic reaction okay the main important peculiarity of this reaction is it is an example of exothermic reaction okay next one next next equation is combustion of methane Combina combustion of methane is given here and the next reaction is respiration reaction study the balanced chemical equation of respiration process okay so respiration process and also the decomposition of ferrous sulfate okay note down the products of decomposition of ferrous sulfate you can see that both reactions contain energy okay both reactions contain energy and also it is an example of decomposition reaction we can see here glucose is decomposed to form carbon dioxide and uh, water and also ferrous sulfate decomposes to form ferric oxide so2 and so3 so these are example of decomposition reaction okay 
So moving on to next one, before that just note down the changes of the crystals because when uh, ferrous sulphate is heated, the crystals will lose the water molecules and there will be a change in color of the crystals. Okay, note down. Next one is calcium carbonate. We can see that calcium carbonate decomposes in the presence of heat to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and also lead nitrate also decomposes in the presence of heat. Okay, you can see that it is a decomposition reaction and it is decomposed in the presence of heat. So this is a thermal decomposition reaction. Okay, this is a thermal decomposition reaction thermal decomposition reactions okay and in this reaction you should note down the color change in the fumes that is brown fumes is formed indicates the emission of NO2 okay next two reactions you can see that uh, silver chloride and silver bromide silver chloride and silver bromide decomposes in the presence of light okay as you all know decomposition in the presence of light is known as photochemical decomposition Decomposition, photochemical decomposition, photochemical decomposition. And the peculiarity of this reaction, you can see that the color change of changes from the reactant color is white and it changes to gray color which is applied in black and white photography okay important you should note it down and the next reaction is iron reacts with copper sulfate iron reacts with copper sulfate and displaces copper zinc reacts with copper sulfate and displaces copper lead reacts with copper chloride and also displaces copper so you have understood the reaction that is an example of displacement reaction okay this is an example of displacement reaction note the color changes okay note down the color changes of the solutions next one is sodium sulfate reacts with barium chloride sodium sulfate reacts with barium chloride interchanging of ions takes place and white precipitate barium sulfate is formed and the next example is potassium iodide reacts with lead nitrate form potassium nitrate and <coughs> lead diodide in this we can see that an yellow precipitate is formed which is that yellow precipitate it is lead diodide so interchanging of ions takes place so it is a double decomposition reaction or double displacement reaction this is a double displacement reaction <coughs> And also precipitate is formed. So this is an example of precipitation reaction. This is an example of precipitation reaction. Okay. Is it clear? Hope you understood. So note down the white precipitate which is barium sulfate and yellow precipitate which is lead diodide. And next reaction you can see that copper in the presence of oxygen when it is heated it converts. It it will be converted to copper oxide and also next one it is an example of combination reaction uh, many questions can be seen related to this topic and also next one is copper oxide reacts with hydrogen and it is converted to copper okay the color change will be copper can be seen as the black okay Next one is zinc oxide reacts with carbon that is it forms zinc and carbon monoxide by observing these two reactions what will be this reaction <coughs> whether it is displacement or <coughs> combination reaction can you see here we can see that displacement takes place so this is an example of displacement reaction and the last one in every question paper you can see this type of question on the topic redox reaction so identify these type of reactions okay it is important to note down whether oxidation takes place whether reduction takes place okay so steady thoroughly this is a redox reactions this is an example of redox reaction in which oxidation and reduction takes place. So uh, I have listed, listed out the complete reaction from this chapter. You can study all the all these chemical reactions for your CBC board exam. So I think it would be easier for you. So for more interesting videos, keep watching. Thank you.